Hey guys, what is up? Jake here. Um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use chroma keying in Cinema 4D and then use that footage in After Effects. So, basically, the title says it all. Let's get started. So, we're just going to start off by opening up Cinema 4D. And once that opens up, all right, so once that opens up, um, I'm just gonna grab a cube and we'll make it it this really doesn't matter it's just for demonstration I'm just gonna make it like that and I'll make it a little wider alright and I'm going to grab another cube and I'm going to make this one thinner a little more like a rectangle ish shape about like that um, and I'm going to drag it about right there and I'm going to duplicate it and center this in the middle of our big cube um, drop that down and this is just for demonstration I'm not trying to make it perfect by any means uh, it's just for time and uh, efficiency purposes for this video um, and before we get started, it's kind of hard to see um, our object, so I'm just going to go in and hit lines so I can see it better. And so I'm going to drag this one in the middle so it's so they're barely overlapping, like so. And so what we're going to do is this is going to be our, this is going to be our green screen, this back cube. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click down here to create a new material. We're going to double click on our material, turn it off, specular, and I'm going into color, and we are going to go 0 red, 255 green, and 0 blue. Hit OK, and this will be our green screen color because it's pure green, and that is the color of green chroma peeing and uh, you can use blue but uh, I'm just using green because people are more familiar with it and so now what we're gonna do is take our first cube we're gonna make a keyframe and uh, 10 frames later it will be right here and we'll make another keyframe so now it's animated like that and we're gonna do the same to our other cube and 10 frames later it will be right there and we'll do another keyframe so now it is like we have doors opening I know it doesn't look very good but this is just for the demonstration purposes so now if we I'm just gonna drop a camera in there now if we do a quick render um no shoot sorry I have a bunch of preset stuff um, so now if we do a quick render, um, if you have a little more heavy duty uh, lighting, you might get some shadows and we don't really want that. So what we're going to do is on the green screen object that we're using, we're going to right click, go into Cinema 4D Tags, Compositing, and we are going to turn off Cast Shadows, Receive Shadows, Scene by Rays, and Scene by GI, which is Global Illumination and now if you were having uh, shadow or reflection uh, problems earlier now if you do a render there should be no shadows or reflections at all just the pure material and I'm just gonna make a quick material for our uh, doors don't worry my stuff is usually a lot better than this I don't want to grab a light there beautiful lighting right now Alright, so now I'm just going to go back to our camera and render out the, you know, I'm going to make it, make another cube just to hide this top part. I'll make it like so. And I'm actually going to widen these up a bit. Uh, let's see, this would be... There we go. There. Alright. So now, 
it's gonna be like 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 that. And to make this look even more like doors, we're gonna make another cube, and we are going to. This is just really rough. Uh, if if you, if you're if you're any of your projects take this quickly, then you might want to consider spending some more time <laughs> on it. But uh, now, if we go back to our camera, it should look like. Here, I'm just gonna. All right. Now it should look like that. So it looks like doors are opening, and I'm actually gonna animate these so they go a little farther. You know, you know, it's fine for demonstration. So now I'm gonna render this out really quickly. I'm just gonna do green screen test. All right, and yeah, and I'm gonna change this to just one zero through ten. And so yeah, I'm gonna render that out. And when that's rendering, I'm just gonna open up After Effects. All right, so now this is done rendering. We are going to open it up in After Effects, just import the file that we just made. And here it is, we're gonna open it up, drag it into our comp, and we will see we have our little animation. So now to get this working, I'm going to uh, select the video and we're gonna go into effect oops, effect keying color key and on color key you're gonna take this little um, paint dropper thing and click on our material right here and now for color toleration we're gonna drag this up to if you zoom in there should be no green left and you, you don't want to do it so much where everything's disappeared so I think about a hundred that's probably good and so now we have a transparent if you don't have to select it it would be black which actually is might be a little easier we can key out a little more you're not going to be able to get everything um, but you should be able to get most of it too I mean human eye if you're watching an animation you're not gonna see that little bit of green but yeah anyway so if you don't have transparency it will be black if you do it will have a little transparency thing so now to get this working what we're gonna do is just gonna import a random picture video I'm gonna use a video and a picture so I have a random I'll just take this I'll drag it underneath and now it shows it uh, you know th this isn't a good because uh, that one root moves really slow um, let's see if I can find something oh sure this is a uh, little sneak preview okay so yeah so as you can see it's moving along um, with it and it also works for pictures too and that's basically it. You can work on like the bordering by going in here and you can work on um, you know the edge and like feathering. I mean if you add a little bit of feathering like I don't know maybe like 20 that's probably a bit too much it depends like I don't know. It, you can uh, experiment is what I'm trying to say. Um, I mean it's different for every project but this is basically the uh, bare minimum that you need to know to do this I guess so yeah um, thank you guys for watching this tutorial hope you guys found it helpful uh, I just found this one day messing around I don't really think there's a whole lot of uh, chroma keying and cinema 4d um, and if you want to use this as a background it's kind of pointless because in uh, After Effects, 
and after effects cinema 4d you can render with alpha channel so i mean it'll only render the objects so if i went like this it would only render the these objects right here it wouldn't render any of this and this would just be all transparent if you select uh, alpha channel so um it's pretty pointless to use like if you were to use a background and put this on it it's it's pretty pointless I'll be honest um, you're better off just using alpha channel but yeah that's basically it uh, thank you guys for watching uh, I'll see you guys next time my name is Jake and you just got Jake